Beyond, my name is Colin Moriarty. I'm IGN's senior editor. I'm here with the illustrious Andrew Goldfarb, our news editor. And we're here today to talk to you a little bit about a PlayStation 4 launch exclusive. It's called Killzone Shadowfall. Goldfarb, we finally played the game uh, in terms of its multiplayer functionality. We played the single player some time ago, but this is the first time we went hands-on with the multiplayer. And I was actually quite taken with it, but I'm curious what you think about it. I liked it a lot. It's um, one of the things I think is cool about it is you have these things called war zones that you can create. It's almost uh, almost like a little big planet. Or actually, I think uh, the UGC in Infamous 2 is kind of a good example. You create like these custom rule sets, and then you can have like different game modes, different weapons available, different um, upgrades for your soldiers and stuff. And um, I thought it played really well. It uses kind of the almost Call of Duty style like class perk system. So you have um, uh, the scout, the assault, and the support classes. Um, and I mostly played the assault. I tried support at the end and didn't do super well trying to revive people and stuff. But the multiplayer feels good. It's, um, I think, a little tighter even than Killzone 2 and 3 felt. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, Killzone 2 and 3 were very technically fine shooters, but they lacked a, sort, a, a certain aesthetic quality in terms of being, you know, vivid and kind of the, the, the landscapes being diverse and even in multiplayer I felt like the environments were just different and they were diverse. We played in one dark almost like prison with like rain and, and it, it looked really good and then like a, a more diverse uh, almost like a mall or so yeah uh, with like trees and plants just like a lot of greens and oranges and blues you don't often see in Killzone which I thought looked really nice and of course we saw that in the single player too I think that's obviously something that Guerrilla Games the developer is intentionally trying to do um, but how do you think the game felt in terms of you know its heaviness in terms of you know uh, the sponginess of the characters and stuff like that because I felt like the game played a little bit better and 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 the, the enemies weren't quite as spongy as I remember Killzone being yeah I, I completely agree with that it felt um I mean, it felt a lot better, and honestly, the biggest reason of that, like, I mean, the game, the mechanics have been fine-tuned and everything, but the biggest reason was the controller for me. I think the DualShock 4 finally feels right. It feels, uh, you know, the sticks are tighter, the triggers are obviously, like, way better, and it definitely felt, um, especially for, like, a Twitch shooter where you need, like, fast reflexes, it felt like I had more control than I feel like I had in previous kill zones. Yeah, I agree. That, uh, Sony is uh, trying to really show off DualShock 4 with a lot of these games. Infamous Second Son, which we will talk about on another video, of course, uh, also is showing off the DualShock 4. But I think uh, Killzone, Shadowfall in particular, since the controller seems to be made so nicely for shooters, which is a huge complaint people have with DualShock 3, I think that uh, this is the game that shows it off. Uh, so we know that PlayStation 4 comes out November 15th in North America, and November 29th in Europe, and a lot of other places. Uh, Killzone will launch with the PS4, uh, so you can buy it at, at that point. I assume it's going to be the biggest game. Uh, available at launch. Uh, for all things PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation 4, keep it tuned to IGN.